in this video we will try to understand how to find out the principal stresses in case of the beam which is having a hollow rectangular section and we have to find out the stresses induced at this point a and b as shown in the side view the dimensions of this beam they are also given over here so first we will find out the reactions at the support so reaction at point c vertical reaction at point c is rc and the vertical reaction at point D is RD. Now this total distance 0.5 plus 0.5 that is 1 meter that is also shown over here. Now first we will apply the conditions of equilibrium. The first condition of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. The conventions that we have used they are upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative so rc and rd they are acting in the upward direction whereas this 4000 and this 6000 they are acting in the downward direction so they are negative so it is minus 4000 minus 6000 that is equal to zero so we can say that rc plus rd is equal to 10000 now apply the another condition of equilibrium that is summation of moments is equal to zero clockwise moments they are considered as positive whereas anti-clockwise moments they are considered as negative now taking moments about this particular point c we'll start with this rd the upward acting arrow of this rd will produce anti-clockwise moment about point c and hence it is negative so rd into 2 with negative sign because it is in the anti-clockwise direction and from point d up to this particular point c the total distance perpendicular distance is 1 plus 1 that is 2 this 6000 it will produce the clockwise moment about point c so it is 6000 into 1 and it is positive then this 4000 newton point load it will produce again anti-clockwise moment about point c so the arrow of this 4000 will go in the anti-clockwise direction about point c so 4000 into 0 0.6 and as it is anti-clockwise it is negative and that summation is equal to zero so 6000 into 1 minus 4000 into 0 0.6 that summation is 3600 transfer this minus 2 rd on the other side it will become positive now we can substitute this value in equation 1 so from equation 1 we can say that rc, RC plus rd is equal to 10,000 so therefore rc will be equal to 10,000 minus rd where rd just now we have calculated as 1800 newton and therefore rc will be equal to 8200 newton Now we can find out, we will take the moments about this point, about this section AP. So consider all the forces present on the left hand side of this section AB you can say. So therefore RC is one of the force which is present on the left hand side of this section and 4000 is the another force which is present on the left hand side of this section where AB is denoted over here. So this 8200 8, that is RC, the arrow of this RC will go in the clockwise direction over here. So it will be positive. So RC into 0 0.5 or 8200 into 0 0.5 that is positive. Whereas this arrow of this 4000, this 4000 Newton force will produce anti-clockwise moment about this AB. And the perpendicular distance is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5 that is 1.1. So once again try to understand, so consider this section and consider all the forces on the left hand side of this particular section. So there are two forces, one is RC whose magnitude is 8200 Newton and another force is 4000. Now see this RC, it will produce the clockwise moment and therefore it is positive. So 8200 multiplied by 0 0.5 that is mentioned over here. And this 4000, the arrow of this 4000, it will produce anti-clockwise moment about this section. So 4000 multiplied by perpendicular distance is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5, that is 1.1. So the moment that we obtain is minus 300 Newton meter 
and convert that value from Newton meter into Newton mm. So we have multiplied it by 10 raised to 3. So as it is negative, we can say that it is the anti-clockwise moment. Now the outer width and depth at as it is a hollow section and it is given that it is a square section. So B and D, the outer width and outer depth, they are same that is 8 centimeter converted into mm. So 8 into 10 that is 80 mm. Similarly, inner width that is small b and small d, they are 6 centimeter or 60 mm. Now, we have already seen that it is producing anti-clockwise moment. So because of this particular anti-clockwise moment, the direction of this anti-clockwise moment will produce, it will try to compress this part B or point B and it will try to elongate this point A. So we can say that compressive stress will be induced at point B because of this nature which is nature of this moment which is pushing this B point and it is elongating this particular A point. So compressive stress will be induced at point B and tensile stress will be induced at point A. So considering the neutral axis as xx axis, ixx will be equal to 1 by 12 bd cube minus bd cube for hollow rectangular sub for hollow rectangular section. Now substitute the values b is 80 and d is 80, small b is 60 and small d is also 60. So it is a square section, hollow square section you can say. The Calculated value of moment of inertia about xx axis will be 2.333 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Now we know that bending stress is given by moment divided by section modulus and section modulus is defined as i upon y. Now for point A, the distance of this extreme fiber from the centroidal axis that is xx axis is y1. Now transfer this y1 in the numerator, so it is my1 divided by ixx. So y1 will be equal to, it is d upon 2, so that distance is capital D is 80, so 80 by 2 that is 40 mm. m and ixx already we have calculated. So the stress that is induced at point A is 5.143 mp. Now the b point is present at the inside surface. So from the centroidal axis, the this is the extreme fiber for this case. So, or this is the distance y2 in this particular case. So, that y2 is nothing but inner depth divided by 2, that is 60 upon 2. So, sigma b again will be equal to m upon z, and z is again i upon i x x upon y2 because point b is present at this inner section. Transfer this y2 in the numerator, so it is m y2 divided by i x x. Substitute the values of m then ixx and this y2 is 30 just now we have seen it is the inner depth that is d small d divided by 2. So this distance is 60 upon 2 that is 30 mm. So that also we have mentioned over here. And the stress that is induced at point b or at section b is compressive so it is minus 3.857 mpa. So in this way we can find out the stresses at the inner and outer section of this hollow rectangular or hollow square section